Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to make this little kiwi. Um, this is not for beginners because the feet and the beak can get a bit tricky. Okay, so all you need is some um, cotton yarn and black for the eyes, yellow and brown, some stuffing, a 3mm hook, yarn needle and some scissors. Okay. Okay, to start you want to take your brown yarn, make a slip knot, and chain two. Okay, you want to go back into the first chain that you made and make six single crochets. Okay, so I'm going to be doing the cross stitch, but it works in the single crochet as well. So single crochet. You pull the yarn this way and cross stitch you pull it this way okay i'll leave a link in the description for my cross stitch video and my beginners videos as well okay Pull the tail tight. And the next row you want to increase each stitch. So it's two single crochets in each stitch. So you'll go from six single crochets to 12. Okay, so once you've increased to 12 single crochets, and the next row you want to increase to 18. So one single crochet in the first stitch. Two single crochets in the second stitch. Okay, so just repeat that all the way back to the stitch marker. One single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochets in the second stitch. Okay, so now that we've increased to 18, we need to increase to 24. So it's one single crochet in the first stitch. One single crochet in the second stitch. And one increase in the third stitch. Okay, so two single crochets and an increase. Until you get back to the stitch marker.
Okay, so now that we've increased to 24, we need to increase to 30. So it's three single crochets and an increase. Okay, so just do three single crochets and an increase until you get back to the stitch marker. All right, now that we've finished increasing to 30, we need to increase to 36. So it's four single crochets and an increase. All right, so that's how it looks when you get to 36 stitches. And the next row we need to increase to 42. So five single crochets and an increase.
All right, so now that we've increased to 42, I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to do seven rows of just 42 single crochets around. Okay, so I'll place my stitch marker. And I'll just go around for seven rows. Okay, so I'll come back and show you how it looks. All right, so this is how it looks after I've done my seven rows. Um, in the next row, we need to start to decrease. So we're going to go from 42 back down to 36. So we need to do five single crochets. And then we need to do a decrease so I go through the front front loop of this stitch and the front loop of the next stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay so it's five single crochets and a decrease all the way around the front loop of the first one front loop of the second one yarn over pull through yarn over pull through All right, so now that we've decreased down to 36, we just need to do one row of single crochet. So just one row of one single crochet in each stitch. So no increases or decreases in this row. Okay. All right, so once you decrease down to 36 and you do one row of 36, it should look like this. And the next row, we're going to decrease down to 30. So four single crochets and a decrease. Now that I've decreased down to 30, I need to decrease down to 24. So three single crochets and a decrease. All right, so now that I've decreased down to 24, I'm going to do two rows of 24, which will be the neck. So if you're using safety eyes, you can add them whenever you want. Okay, so I'm just going to do two rows of 24. All right, so I've done my two rows of 24, and now we need to start to increase again. So 
that's the head and the neck and now we'll make the body so we need to go from 24 to 30 single crochet three and one increase All right, in the next row, we need to increase from 30 to 36. So we need to do four single crochets in an increase. Alright, I now have 36 around, I need to increase to 42. Okay, five single crochets and one increase for this row. In the next row, we're going to increase from 42 to 48. Six single crochets and an increase for this row.
All right, so now that we've increased to 48, it looks like this weird shape. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video here and we need to do eight rows of 48. So just eight rows of single crochet all the way along. And then I'll come back and show you how it looks. All right, so this is how it looks after my eight rows of 48. Okay. So in the next row, we need to decrease back down to 42. Okay, so single crochet six. And then one decrease. Okay, so six single crochets in a decrease will take you from 48 to 42. And then once we finish this row, I'm just going to do one row of 42. Okay. All right, so we decreased from 48 to 42, and then we did one row of 42. And the next row we need to decrease from 42 to 36. So single crochet five. And then make a decrease. Okay, so that's the pattern for this row. Single crochet five and a decrease until you get back to the stitch marker. And then the next row we're just going to single crochet 35 or uh, 36 around. Alright, so now I've decreased down to 36 and I did one row of 36 single crochets. And the next row we need to decrease down to 30. So it's four single crochets and a decrease. All right. Just four single crochets and a decrease until you get back to the stitch marker. Okay, so once I've finished the decreasing down to 30 stitches, I've stuffed the head, so it's not too hard to stuff later. Okay. And the next row we need to decrease from 30 down to 24. So it's three single crochets and a decrease. Okay, now we've decreased down to 24, we need to decrease to 18. So two single crochets. And a decrease for this row.
All right, now that we've decreased down to 18 stitches, I've gone and stuffed it. That's how it looks. Okay, the next row is to decrease down to 12. Okay, so it's just one single crochet. And one decrease until you get back to that stitch marker. Okay. And this row can take a while because it's stuffed. So just one single crochet and one decrease. All right, so now that I have 12 single crochets around, I need to decrease each stitch. So that's So just six decreases. All right. Before you do this row, make sure you've stuffed it enough. Okay, so I've decreased down to six. Um, cut your yarn, pull it through. And then you just want to go through the front loop of each of those six stitches. Okay, and once you've done that, just pull it tight. Okay, and then just hide the tail in the kiwi. All right, so now that you've closed up the bottom it should look like this uh, the next thing we need to do is make the feet okay so I had trouble making like the feet in around so I've just done it this way okay so you want to make a slip knot chain eight all right skip the first one that's your turning chain and single crochet seven back down so one in each chain that's it for the turning chain Okay, now chain nine. Skip the first one and single crochet eight.
Okay, so one is slightly longer than the other. Now you need to slip stitch. So you want to go through the front loop of that last single crochet on this panel. Okay. And then go through this little loop on the side, which is part of that last single crochet. And slip stitch. Okay, if you have a better way of making these feet, just do it that way. Okay, chain 8 again. Right. Skip 1 and single crochet 7. Okay, and you want to slip stitch to the next claw, so through the front loop of that last single crochet, and the loop on the side. And slip stitch. Okay. Okay, so now that we have our three claws, um, it gets a bit tricky. So we need to make six single crochets in a round. Okay, so I'm going to put... I'm going to go back into here. This is where our starting tail is. Okay, and I'm going to make two single crochets in here. Then I'm going to make one in this first single crochet, just in the front loop. Okay, so now we have three single crochets. I'm going to make one in this loop here okay now we have four single crochets i'm going to make one in this next loop here And then one in this front loop of the last single crochet on this claw. Okay, so it's really hard to see, but I've got six single crochets there. I'm going to slip stitch to the first one we made. So if you count back, one, two, three, four five, six, this one down here. Okay, go through both loops, make a slip stitch, and now chain one. Okay, I'm going to turn my work, and now I need to make these six single crochets into eight. So I'm going to go back into the one we slip stitched into. I'm 
I'm going to single crochet one. All right. I'm going to put an increase in the next one. Okay, so there's three there. Single crochet in the next one. Increase in the next stitch. Okay. So we have one. Two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet in the next one. Where is it? And an increase in the last one. Okay, so now you need to check that you have nine single crochets around and then I'm going to go into this first one and I'm going to make nine rows of nine single crochet. Okay. And I'm going to use a stitch marker so I don't lose what row I'm on. So once you've done your nine rows of nine, it should look like this. So just pull your stitch marker out. And you just want to slip stitch to the next stitch. And you need to cut enough yarn to stitch it onto the body. And pull it through. Before you stuff it, if you have any holes at the bottom, because you don't want your stuffing coming out, there's a hole in there, um, just weave this tail end in and then make a knot. Alright, and then just push it all the way through and hide that in there. Okay, so you need to stuff your leg, but you need to leave a little bit not stuffed at the top because we're going to squeeze it and then stitch it on. Okay, so I use... Um, just a crochet hook with no rubber to push the stuffing in. Okay. All right, the last thing you need to make is the beak. And you don't need to stuff the beak at the end. So make a slip knot. Chain two. Go back into the first chain that you made and make four single crochets. Okay, pull the tail tight and then you want to just 
put one single crochet in each stitch okay so you're still keeping it at four single crochets And this bit's really fiddly as well. And the next row we're going to increase from four to six. So I'm going to put one increase in this next stitch. And one single crochet in the next one. Okay, so you just need to do that twice one increase and one single crochet okay one increase here and in the last one one single crochet Okay, so now that you have six single crochets around, you just need to do one row of six. And the next row we're going to increase to eight. I'm going to do one increase in the first stitch. Two single crochets. one increase and two single crochets Okay, so I stopped the video and I did four rows of eight. Now I'm just going to increase to nine. So I'm going to put one increase in the first stitch. And then I'm going to single crochet around. Okay, so one increase and then just single crochet back to the stitch marker.
Okay, so I stopped the video and I did four rows of nine single crochets. Just slip stitch to the next one. And then again, cut the yarn as long as you need it to stitch it on. And pull it through. Okay, and I'll just add a little bit of stuffing in there. Alright, so now you just need to stitch everything on. So for the beak, I'm going to start stitching it on about 11 rows down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 in this row. Okay, so the top of the beak will be on the 11th row. But I'm going to start stitching it from under here, so this bit stays at the bottom. Okay, so once you've um, stitched on the beak, I've gone and done the eyes. Okay, or you can use your safety eyes. But you need to put your safety eyes in before you put any stuffing in. Okay, and the last thing to do is to add your feet. So... He sits up pretty well by himself. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to put the little feet on an angle, kind of sticking out. Okay, and you want to stitch it underneath them. Um, for the eyes, it's really hard to see, but I've gone one stitch up and then I've gone three across and then one stitch down and they're quite close to the beak. Okay.
Okay, so once you've stitched on the beak, the eyes and the feet, it's done. The only other thing you could do is um, iron these if they curl up a little bit. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.